Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Chris Machini. More than a million dollars worth of bath salts off the streets in Maine. Penobscot County Sheriff's deputies scored a major drug bust and arrested four people. Three of them remain behind bars tonight, the others off on bail. Today, the Sheriff's Department held a press conference to discuss how the campaign against bath salts is going and what this bust can mean. News Center Samantha Edwards was at the press conference and joins us now. Samantha, how did investigators actually find this cache of drugs? This was an ongoing investigation where the Penobscot County Sheriff's Office worked very closely with the MDA and targeted an actual group of people they thought were dealing large amounts of bath salts. Now, investigators did arrest four people during the raid and seized nearly 20 pounds of bath salts. This compound sells for $150 per gram. Now, authorities hope this major bust will help in their campaign against the synthetic drug. Two years and Maine continues to battle against bath salts use. As you can see here now with this uh, seizure, uh, the problem is still a significant one. $1.2 million seized from Penobscot County, one of the largest busts the Pine Tree State has seen. Four people are charged with selling the synthetic hallucinogen. Leonard Wells of Herman, Stephen Warren of Corinth, Elizabeth Fuentes of Houston, Texas, and Arthur Coy of Houston, Texas. According to police, the suspects receive the drugs from China and sell them in Maine and across the country. I've seen it quite frequently, not the quantities that we're dealing with in this case, but we have had a number of cases especially in the northern half of the state where the drugs have uh, originated in China. Police found nearly 20 pounds of bath salts during the raid. This type sells for around $150 per gram. Over the last six months or so, it appears to have been increasing again and getting worse based upon the quantities, the number of shipments that we've been intercepting. There has been a decrease in younger users, but habitual users continue to abuse the drug. As long as there is a desire to use, there will be a desire to, to uh, to steal and, and dis distri distribute the drugs. Well, one of the biggest hurdles we faced uh, is that a slight chemical alteration would make something that had been illegal legal again. State lawmakers did make changes to include more types of bath salts in hopes to control the epidemic and enforce stricter penalties. But investigators say what was once an unknown drug is taking over the region. Because it has hit every community uh, across uh, the region. And according to police, it's hitting every part of society, from hospitals to officers on the street to inside correctional centers and even becoming a danger to homeowners. We're seeing large numbers of uh, 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 homes broken into for jewelry uh, so that they can make a quick buck to buy the bath salt. Officials hope drug busts like the most recent will cut down on distribution and get bath salts off the streets. There have been quite a number of seizures in other counties um, that are having some impact, so... Stuff to tell. It'll have an impact. Is it short term or long term? The investigation is still ongoing as they continue to review the evidence. And many aspects of the case are being kept quiet. The four suspects arrested did appear in court. Leonard Wells made bail. The other three remain in police custody. Crandall did add that state law enforcement does have open communication with foreign countries to help intercept these shipments. And Chris, although they do have an international connection, as mm -hmm. of right now, it will be tried by the AG's office at a state level. Okay, hopefully they made a dent in it. Thanks very much, Samantha.